If you watched yesterday's vlog, you'll know that this weekend I went down to Maxwell Air Force Base down near Montgomery and shot a air show. From that I took over 30,000 pictures and today we'll go through a small portion of editing some of them. I won't subject you to all 30,000 although I will be going through each and every photograph that I took but I'll show you some of the techniques that I use to edit some pictures. Okay so here we are in Lightroom we have some of the pictures loaded in. Let's go into the develop module and take a look. Not sharp. Can okay, that the focus is off? I'm running this at one sixtieth of a second. It probably should have been up at around about one two fiftieth. Now, when you look at the screen like that, it's not too bad. When you zoom in. It's off. That's a little bit better, but still off. We're still at one sixtieth of a second. Yeah. It's not sharp. It's not too bad, it's not tack sharp though. It's a lesson learned number one. I wanted to reduce the frame rate to try and get some prop blur in there. From here it looks okay when you zoom in, as you can see it's, especially around this area here, it's just, it's not sharp. Still at one sixtieth. aren't sharp at all. There we go, that's better. Get some prop motion. Let's enable the lens profile correction. We do want to crop this slightly, there's way too much. Bring out the shadows a bit. 
I love contrasty pictures. Now the exposure's right on. Colors look good here. There is some lens spots. Need to clean the lenses. There we go. Now we're getting. A little bit over green. Take that back slightly, that looks a bit better. Export. Now out of export that. Out of thirty thousand pictures, what or out of however many pictures you take. You want to narrow them down to 20 or 30 pictures that you actually want to post. 20, 30 pictures you want to keep. So out of 30,000, this is going to be a little bit of a challenge, shall we say. Still 160th, yeah, really, but look at that prop blur, that's gorgeous. Let's see if I've got one without the... have a same aircraft coming in it's one sixtieth of a second it's a little bit too far out there how do we have here nope nope here we go coming back That looks fine. It's got prop blur. Do we have a slightly better one? Is that for one one four five? good zoom in on that okay bring up bring up the clarity vibrance saturation and one of the best tools, I love this one, is the dehaze tool. Now, as you can see, I've got lots of camera, uh, lots of lens spots. Now I can get rid of them in Photoshop and Lightroom. Now 
There is a spot removal tool. Let's just crop it down below those a little bit more. But look at that gorgeous blur. It's 1 60th. It really should have been faster. It should have been 1 2 1 1 25th or 1 2 50th. Um, shot at f22, so it's fairly much full open. Bring up the exposure just slightly. Yeah, I like that one. Almost side on. This is a uh, this is a French aircraft. Okay. Still on the same aircraft. Still on the same aircraft. Here it comes in for a landing. Did I nail the landing? Still coming down. It's still coming down. There's some tire smoke. Just touching down. This is what happens when you can shoot at 14 frames a second on a 1DX Mac 2. So it touched down and now it's actually taken back off again. So that was a quick touch and go. Did I ever take it off once? I'm sure I took it off one sixtieth at some point. There we go. One one twenty. One one two hundred and one one twenty. Oh, why can't I say this? It's one, one, two hundred and twenty-fifth of a second. Faster the shutter speed. The sharper the image will be. But, you lose out on getting propeller, which is something you want on aircraft with propellers. With jets it's not so bad. Jets you can go right the way up, one four thousandth, one eight thousandth. Now this picture looks sharp. Zoom in a bit. That's quite good. We've got a bit of a prop blur going on here. And you can see the pilot. I just don't particularly like the framing of it. That's the only problem. It's not... There's some blur going on in the background. Which is good gives that sense of motion let's edit it anyway I just I don't know if I'm gonna keep it let's crop it down a bit okay we got 
the smoke coming in from that side, so let's do this. Let's crop it in that way. A little bit too much of a crop on that side. Let's get the pirate right there. That's a bit better. I'll bring up some shadows. Dehaze a bit. I really need to clean my lenses. Exposure just a touch. There's a third, third of a stop of. Oh. Give it some color. It's not too bad. And as you can see, that's taken up one one hundred and twenty-fifth of a second. we've got going on. Generally you want one of each aircraft that flew during the show. That way it tells a story, tells what was flying that day. And then the more interesting aircraft you might want two or three pictures of. Generally you want to end up with a set of about 20 to 30 pictures. You want to try and at least get one of each type of aircraft and preferably some, doing something that's a bit interesting. We've all got smoke trails going on. See, it's just not sharp. No one's getting sharper, but just not. Now, here we go. Really good prop blur. Yeah, you've got the smoke trail coming up. We can do something with this. Bring it down, bring that in a bit. A little bit too square. So let's leave it at that. Off to one side, that works. Enable, bring up shadows a bit. Now, as you can tell, this is typical of air shows down in the south here. You've got very bright blue skies and it just so happened that the sun was around about the 11 o'clock position from where I was standing where the aircraft were flying. So most things were actually backlit. which made shooting quite a bit more difficult. There we go, quite like that. I don't need to touch exposure, that just, that works. So scrolling along, what have we got coming over the top? Not that much more different from the one that I previously had. Flying upside down. Yeah, 
Let's see if he does a hammerhead stall. As you can see, scrolling along the bottom here, when you're taking 14 frames a second, you're almost getting video. Video shot at 24 frames a second, generally. Okay, so what do we have here? This is a... Uh, this is an American... This is a Douglas, A4 Douglas. Decked out to be a Japanese warplane. But here we have the pilot. That's a good shot. I like that with the pilot waving. It's let's crop this in. A lot of the time, oh, we got an F-16 in the background there. I don't like cropping. But for air shows, do we want to keep the F-16 in? No, we want to go right the way in on this pilot here. See, I like that. I like that. Get the contrast in. Bring it up. Gonna need to bring the highlights down a bit. Get a bit of color in. Dehaze it. Dehaze it. Dehaze it, as you'll see, it generally darkens a picture, but it brings out more of the settings that you have here. It brings out more contrasty, and I like contrasty pictures. That's just a personal preference. You know, when you're editing, you edit pictures for you. You edit to suit your own tastes. Maybe a bit more shadow. Now one of the good things, you'll see that the shadow slider here is way up at 74 because under the wing here, because I've cropped it so tight, this is all dark and I want to try and get some details in here. You can actually see the lines, the rivets in the wing. And that's one of the good things about the 1DX Mark II is it allows you to do that. Okay. Oh, and then he's got both hands up. Possibly an even better picture. Taxis past. What else do we have? We have a okay. This is all the Japanese flights. Let's It's actually not too bad picture on its own. Maybe a little bit too much headroom. I like the taxiway. F-16's in the background. Let's just bring up the shadows a bit so you can make out the pilot. And in doing so you need to bring down the highlights. Here, contrast, add in a bit more color, and 
D is in that bit. There we go. Some more shadows. Done. And we're back to the biplane flying. Let's see if he does do a hammerhead stall at some point. I think this might be it. No, it's a loop. A very tight loop, but a loop. Oh, back on the ground, what do we have here? We have all the Japanese aircraft lined up ready for takeoff. Straighten that a bit. Okay, now we have way too much room here and here and we need to, I'm sorry, I'm peeking around the corner here because I've actually got a screen that's cutting off. Let's see if we can move this back a bit. There we go. It's actually cutting off part of my actual screen. Let's see what this looks like. Not too bad. It only takes a few seconds to edit each picture, so that's not a big problem. Dehaze that a bit. There we go, and export. And then we're back up in the sky here. Still not tack sharp. Although there, it looks sharp. This is why you have difficulty when you're out taking pictures. You can do a zoom on the back of the camera, but the LCD screen is so small that it looks sharp. It looks like this. On the back of your camera, when you actually import it into a computer, see that's sharp. No, that's sharp, that's sharp. But when you import it into a computer, you find things that you can't see on the back of the camera. Keep scrolling, keep scrolling. Is he going up for a hammerhead? No, it's a straight turnover. Okay, what's next? This looks like the zeros and the That's a torpedo. Okay, they getting ready to take off. Yeah, they're on their way. We're at 400 mil, so we're all the way zoomed out on the 1 to 400 lens. Uh, shooting 1 1 25th, because there's also shooting in the air. Uh, F 13 up. ISO 100. The reason every shot here is shot at ISO 100 because it was so bright. 
Do we want a shot of these taken off? Meh, F18. So everything basically is tack sharp. This is the French Aerobatic Squadron um, getting ready, getting prepared for their demonstration. And this is a. Why am I shooting that at 1 60th of a second? See, that's just not sharp. That should not have been shot at 1 60th. F18? No, 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 no. That's wrong. That's wrong. Look at that. He had a UK helmet on and the photo's blurred. Bad me. I just, so there's another mistake. This should not have been shot at F. This is a jet. You don't shoot a jet at F6. Uh, one, si one one sixtieth of a second. That's just. That's on me. That's. I hope I sped this up at some point during this flight. You don't often get to see the, especially over here in America, you don't often get to see these fly. This is the first ever jet fighter. Actually, no, it's not. They got that wrong at the air show. At the air show, they said it was the first jet fighter. It's not. Yeah, one sixtieth of a second. These are fairly much ruined. Again, it looks okay there. It looks fairly sharp there. When you zoom in, no. There's no way you can call that sharp. You're still at one sixtieth, yes. Yeah, I can tell a mile away that one wasn't sharp. But that looks sharp. Here we go, one eight hundredth of a second. Now, even though that's far away, that's sharp. That, that is sharp. One eight hundredth. So now we're getting in full, now we're getting into pictures we can actually use. So let's see what he does. This was a front pass, I believe. Yes. See, that's not bad. We can use that. We just need to crop the hell out of it. It's still far away. We want the trail in smoke. It gives something leading up. It's not just a plane in the sky. It makes it a little bit more interesting. Right, 
bring up the shadows a bit, bring down the highlights, it's very... And then bring in, here we go. Again, bring up... Now with jets, you can move the clarity slider quite a lot. You've got a lot of free play. With props, not so much because you actually start seeing the outline of the individual propellers, which you don't want. Jets don't have that problem for obvious reasons. So there we go, we'll take that. Now this is single flyby, again, 14 frames a second. We're getting to see the pilot now. It's not quite in focus, but sharp there. Does he do a loop? What do I, let's try and get him to do something interesting rather than just a straight flyby. Here we go. What's this? It's a bit better, but he's <laughs> Too far away, even when you actually when you zoom into that, it's not bad. But let's try and get it a bit closer yet. to actually do a wing over rather than just a straight profile shot which I'm sure you did at some point Keep going. He's up. Okay, coming back round. This is good. Try and see if I can get him where he's in closer. What we got here? And it's virtually identical to the last one that we had. It's a tight crop, but let's give it a go. This down the bottom here is actually the top of somebody's head. saturation much more vivid colors I like that 
But that I don't like. That blue is so off-putting. So let's dial this back a bit. There we go. Not quite as... fake. So we want the vibrancy and we want the saturation, we just don't want it to look completely fake. Need to adjust the whites. Don't really need to, but there we go. Okay, so on to the next shop. There's a nice underbelly shot of it showing the gun ports here. It's way too much sky. Bring that in. Don't need the full trail. It's nice enough framing. Contrast the highlights to try and show a bit more detail here. Clarity, clarity always darkens your picture. So you've got to watch that. Although you can, because it's a jet, you can ramp it up. You've just got to watch. They've got a nice blue. We still want more shadow detail and at this point we might want to brighten it just a little touch. There we go. Export. Now unless we get another really good picture of this, this is fairly much this aircraft done. I've now got two or three shots of it. Still the underside. Is it going to go over the top? It's not actually sharp. You can tell by the RAF roundel that that one's not sharp. And again there. Let's try the next one. One three hundred and twentieth of a second. These should be sharp. Okay, wasn't not entirely sure what that was actually of. So it's coming round. Here we go. Maybe get one of the cockpit. Yeah, he's doing a rollover. Probably fully extended here at, yep, we're at 400 millimeters. So doing a roll, here he comes back, and then we're back into the straight. So, right. It's sharp. Could be a little sharper, but it's basically a one to one crop rate. 
So what's he doing? He's just, he's pulling up. Here we go. Flipping over. He's just flipping over the wrong way. Nice and sharp. And you can even tell, get the bombs on it. I want the top side though, not the underside. I've got plenty of shots with the underside. This is do this picture however, I'll try and get it around about the same crop right here we go. Profile bring in the contrast like that. Now we need to bump up the shadows because of that, and because we bumped up the shadows, we need to take down the highlights. Get a little colour going. And that's too blue. Actually, we don't need haze at all. That works. Maybe just a little bit more on the shadow side. That works. Export. Please turn over. Still the underside. Here we go. It looks like he's starting to get into a roll. Yep. I just fear that he might be too far away by the time he completes the roll. Which he fairly much is. So that's kind of the shot I wanted. And that looks okay there. I mean, I could let's see, crop that down and cropping it basically enlarges it. It's okay, but you want that's mostly blue sky. I want more aircraft than sky. Moving along. Here we go, this is getting better. So we can zoom in, we can see the pilot. That's tack sharp, one five hundredth of a second, F7.1. I think I tried to from what I can remember, I tried to keep keep things at around about f7.1, f5. It's at 400 millimeter. That lens would be uh, 5.6, so things should be sharp anyway. I bumped it up by a stop. Basically just to make sure everything was tack sharp. Okay, what's the best one of these? See, I like that. You can see the Union Jack on the pilot. So let's crop this one down. Let's crop this all the way in. There we go. Bring in the clarity. Bit of cover and then the whites a bit.
bump up a third of a stop, that works. Export. So that's the kind of shot I was wanting. Had the underside, now I've got the overside. That worked excellently. So again, unless there's an absolute stunning shot, we're looking to move on to the next aircraft. Scroll, 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 scroll. Ooh. One of these might work. Can't see the pilot. Still can't see the pilot, but oh, come on, bring my navigator down. It's a nice shot. How far round does he go? Move on a few frames. Starting to get the pilot. Here we go, virtually right in front of us. Pilot with the Union Jack. I really don't need to crop this that much at all. I probably didn't need to crop that any. And the highlights bring down the whites, give a bit of color, vibrance. You can see the smoke trail coming out just here. Looks like it's coming out of the exhaust, even although it's not. That works, that works nicely. Export. Ooh, that's an even better one. Never crop all the way in, Ooh, let's see, to about there. So that you've got no room here and no room at the top and just basically make that into a box. That makes for a terrible picture. Always give it at least a little bit of room so you can tell that it's going somewhere. Could have cropped this into about there. It makes for a slightly square picture, but I don't like the aspect ratio. Contrast the highlights, you can definitely tell the Union Jack on the pilot's helmet there. I like that. 
too bright. Bring down the whites. Is a bit. There we go. Nice picture. Okay, are we done with this? Yes. So here we have. Oh, that's him landing. Get the heat haze coming off the back. And on to our last little piece of editing for this evening. Let's see what else we've got. This is the aircraft doing flybys. As you can tell, these pictures are tack sharp. It's because we're taking out 1500, but if you look, you can virtually see no propeller at all. So let's see if there's any good flybys. Nope, I want you to wing over the other way actually. I don't want the belly, I want the canopy. Now it looks like you're about to go into a loop. Mm, that might work. That might work. Let's crop this and bring it in from the side to square, bring it actually up a bit, don't need all of that. Let's see what that looks like. <coughs> it's not bad. Remember, just because you adjust a picture, you go in and post-process the picture, doesn't mean you actually need to keep it. Or post it as one of your best shots. You can do it just to see how it looks. So there we go. It's much better. Uh, dehaze it a little bit. Actually, looks not bad. So we'll keep it. Okay, that's the same plane. What do we have here? We have the P51, it's P41. Tiger Shark. Unfortunately, with all the pyrotechnics that were going off during this demonstration, the sky got very cloudy, as you can see. It's very. Okay, we'll end that demonstration. There he is, landing. 
and this is the F86 Sabre taking off you can see it still a good bit of the pyrotechnics in the background here it led it made for a cloudy demonstration okay so here we go we're flying a jet we're back up to one one thousandth of a second and that should be sharp there we go tack sharp all the way around so let's crop into that a bit There we go, enable lens, bit of clarity, bit of contrast, contrast of course will darken it up. So bring up the shadows, you can now see the two pilots. Give me a bit of colour to the background, there we go, it's a bit better blue. There we go. Bring up the shadows just a touch more to bring out a bit more detail and we're done with that one. Very much all the same shots, it's just going around in a pass. I like these cockpit on rather than the back side of the planes. <coughs> no, excuse me. And he's still in a turn. 349, so I'm not actually zoomed out at this point. So next sequence of photographs, he's flying, he's actually flying overhead at this point. up into a loop coming out of the loop here he comes back in diving in low pass why I'm only at 148 I should be zoomed into 400 at that point I don't know sort of works, come on navigation, fit, it's going to be a hell of a crop, let's move the screen out the way a little bit, bring it in, whoa what happened there, the whole thing just jammed, that's not good, give me back my crop, Not sure if I'll keep this one. Uh, 
there's still too much haze on the ground from the previous demonstration so it's not it doesn't quite look right it looks a little bit washed out we're trying to we're trying to correct most of that but let's see this dehazed this dehazed tool works wonders That's a little bit too dark around the aircraft. Bring that up, let's bring the lights back down a bit. That works. Let's export. And on to the next sequence. There he goes flying away. Still flying away or is he coming back in at this point? Nope, still flying away. Here he is back in. Zoomed out all the way to 400 at this point. So he's upside down. Doing a upside down roll. That might work. One eight hundred. How's this one? there okay we might be getting something here give me a bit of color there we go blue skies that's what we like to see Just, just a smidge. That works. Finish with his roll. Coming back in. No, turn it around to come back in. Another low pass, yep. Zoom in up. We felt we much got these pictures. F-86 Sabre winging over upside down coming the other way is he going to wing over uh, yes around about here the wrong way <laughs> 
cockpit away. Or is this another roll? This might be another roll. There we go. Cockpit in. But I've already got a picture like that, so I don't need another one. It's a nice one of the underbelly of it, but meh. I can't remember quite the sequence of all this. I think this is him coming in for a landing. Or is it just another low pass? No, it's just another low pass. Um, I can't remember what came after the F-86. I'm actually looking to get down to, there's an F-35 which I'd never seen fly before. Seen them on static displays. Never seen fly. And there's a B2. Which again, I've never seen I've never even seen that on a static display, so that was flying this weekend. I just can't remember what order all these came in, so I can't remember it's obviously after the F-86, I just can't remember what's next. I've got a feeling it was a biplane that was next. Now there's a lovely tight shot that I haven't even cropped. This is full out at 400mm. Cockpit on. What's the one before it? A little bit better, a little bit more to the front. Let's edit this one. Even though they've got a shot almost exactly like this, that was cropped. And cropped, I think, fairly heavily. This one, there's no crop into this at all. I might take a little bit off here just zoom it in a touch okay bring down there bring up the shadows oh beautiful I need a bit come on blue sky blue sky me some blue sky. Rather than sort of washed out sky. Very washed out. Bring these back. Bring these back. Bring the blacks up and I don't need that to be a stopover. Blue sky. and you can look straight into the cockpit. Okay, nice. <coughs> Same sequence, 400 mil, one one thousandth, fully zoomed. And fill in the frame, almost. And, oh, this is I'm coming in for landing. I like getting landing pictures, especially when you get the tower smoke just as they touch down. Adds a little bit of life to the picture. Oh, 
Okay, so next up we have, here we go, we got B2 Bomber. I had never seen one of these fly. And there it is, the B2. Um, Spirit, I think they call it. Stealth Bomber. Okay, we're at one to one. Let's try and get one where it's a bit closer. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Wow. A lot of pictures. Where are we at this point? Yeah, from what I can remember, this actually did stay fairly far out. Let's grab one whilst we're here. Okay, da -da. Ta da! B2. There we go. Uh, you can actually see a TV screen. Not a bad picture. So, going back out. get any closer in on this pass or wing over anymore now this is a big big aircraft as you would expect for a bomber but lines on this how that manages to stay in the air is beyond me let's crop you in again I want a nice big picture of a B2 like that Yes. A nice metallic. Whilst it was going away, Ooh. this one might be even better. Anyway, I'm going to continue editing these pictures. I still have on this one real 
I still have about, I don't know, four, one, three, eight, uh, four, five thousand still to go, and then I've got a whole another reel of pictures to import and edit. This was just to give you a quick taste of editing pictures from this weekend. What I do to make my style of picture and how hopefully this will help you edit in your own pictures. 